what is up you guys welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed day on today whenever it is that you see this video all right i want to send a shout out to my aloha fam thank you guys for your continued love and support i really really appreciate everything that you guys do and all the love that you spread around the community okay um today we're gonna be doing another evil eye reading so we're gonna be seeing who is sending you the evil eye or if somebody is sending you the evil eye if somebody's sending you sending you evil eye voodoo obia witchcraft uh marabou santeria etc 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 or just sending you negative energy period you know um we're gonna be also seeing who that person is who and if, if and who okay you guys know you know y'all know the vibes with these readings the evil eye i feel that it's time for us for another update to see what's going on and see if we should know about anything to be careful uh and proceed from there okay so today we're gonna be doing um we're gonna have do three groups okay the first group is gonna be represented by this candle the second group is gonna be represented by this white candle and the third group's been represented by this green candle. Okay. All right. We're going to be using the evil eye deck here. Ooh. I'm going to be using the evil eye deck. And this is going to tell us um, if there's anything on you. Okay. Um, also, if you guys are interested in this deck, you can check the, uh, the links in the description box to purchase this deck. And also, I'm going to be using the private eye deck right here. And this deck is going to tell us who that person could be okay uh this deck is also available for purchase and checking the link description uh down in the description box <laughs> if i can speak all right what else did i want to say i don't know let's go ahead and get on with the first reading okay all right if you guys have selected the first group this candle it's going to be a reading we're going to be seeing if somebody has evil eye on you or anything uh, similar, sending negative vibes your way. Okay, I'm going to get put my Florida water on. Okay. And let's go ahead and clear the energy out as well. No, nah, I need another one. I need another one. That wasn't, that wasn't, that, that wasn't hard enough. There we go. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and see uh, if anybody has evil eye or anything else against my group number one okay we always want to uh be vi uh, stay vigilant on these things and and stay aware because y'all know the enemy never sleeps so we can't sleep either you know what i'm saying i mean i'm just being real with it so let's see what we got here does anybody have anything on group number one please give us clear because damn Okay, okay. There's some discombobulated energy going on over here with group number one, okay? Like some something twisted, like twisted like a pretzel. What is that all about? I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is a lot. Let's see what we got here. I usually don't, if it's the four, I usually just like put it back. But with this energy right here that I'm feeling, mm -mm, mm -mm, we're going to take it. All right. The first card out that you guys got is reckless magic. So this is telling me that somebody is out of control. Somebody around you is out of control and they don't have any like, this type of person doesn't have any, um, they're not thinking correctly. Okay. They're not, and the reason why they're not think, thinking uh, correctly because they don't care. They don't care what they do. They don't care what they say. They don't care what energy they send out to people. They just want things their way, you know? And it doesn't matter who gets hurt in the process. They're just not even like any conscious, you know, or any um, morals are just out the window because this person is just out of control. This, this is reminiscent of like a, the spoiled brat, you know, who wants what they want whenever they want it. It's that type of energy from this person, okay? It says, Someone is out of control and doing anything to any and everyone they want without having remorse. So this person doesn't care. OK, so this person is sending you something. They're doing it and they don't care. You know what I'm saying? And that that's what makes it even worse. You know that the person 
just doesn't care, you know, and they're just doing any and everything. Obsession. Okay, so this might be somebody who's obsessed with you, okay? It says someone is so obsessed with you to the point where they cannot stop thinking about you. Sometimes when people get so obsessed with you, they and and let's say this could be somebody that you know, somebody that you don't know, somebody that's watching you somewhere. I know that sounds creepy, but like they could be watching you online too, okay? Uh or somebody that could be watching you in person. But anyways, I'm just I I just picture the neighbor peeping through the, their door or window watching somebody. That is so creepy, but not trying to keep creep you guys out, but just being real here, you know? But it says that someone is so obsessed with you. And sometimes when people are so obsessed with you, just think about that like um when you see those movies where a person is so obsessed with the person that they have like a mural with like all the person's pictures and they just they're just like losing control, you know? And I'm not saying that your person is losing well, they lost control and, and some aspect with this reckless magic because they could be sending stuff your way and they're not even trying to you know but yeah they just don't care okay but this is somebody who's can't stop thinking about you manifesting work okay someone is trying to manifest you in their life okay so this person wants you with them this person wants you in their life and that's why they're doing whatever they're doing you know um and they may not realize that it goes against your own free will, you know, that is me. It might not be something that you want. You know what I'm saying? It's like some people get like that. You know, they want what they want. And they're just like, who cares about the other person's feelings? You know, power transference. OK, so this says you have either given up your personal power or someone has taken it from you. So we have a power transference going on here. OK, so if you guys have been feeling weak or you've been feeling more helpless than usual, uh, just not your 100% self that you know you normally are or how you normally are, this may be because there was some power transfer. You may have you may have either given away some of your power to this person. Maybe this person said something to you, did something to you physically, or, or are they doing stuff to you behind the scenes with magic uh, in some form, and it's, they're taking it from you, okay? We also have jealousy. Okay, it says someone is jealous of who you are and your accomplishments you've made. This person is a real weirdo, man. This is a real weirdo. So let's let's go ahead and see who this weirdo is right here. Let's see if we can crack this case here. Let's put the private eye on a on a case and see if we can crack this. Let's get a couple more cards. Uh, let's see what we got. This one came out. Let's see what we got so far. Let's get the one on the bottom too. All right, we got somebody. This could be somebody with money. Somebody who got little coins. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, you guys, these are general readings, so they may or may not apply to you. I should have said that in the beginning. That's what I forgot to say. They may or may not apply to you. If it doesn't apply, let it fly and check in a different group, a different pile. You know what I'm saying? Um, this person and, and the energy within this reading can be, you know, interchanged. I hope not when it comes to, you know, being jealous and doing magic and stuff like that, but um, in a reckless kind of way. But this person could have money, could come from money, okay? Um, or you could come from money. Uh, this is somebody who wants to, who comes to you like they want to, to lift you up, to uplift you, you know? They come to you like they're your supporter. They want to see you do good. They want to see you win. All that whole, that all that jazz. This is someone who is jealous of you. Okay, we got that twice. We got jealousy here, and then we got jealousy here twice. Okay, female. This may be a female for some of you guys. Keep in mind, this is just energy, right? So it could be anybody. It could be someone with feminine qualities. You know, um, not necessarily saying that their actions are feminine, but like their spiritual essence are more so on the feminine. You know. Um, or they could be feminine acting, you know. Uh, oh, okay. We got gay bisexual. So this person may be gay or bisexual, okay. This is some, something that is out in the open. Some of y'all might already know this person, uh, who this person is, because I feel that whatever they do, they do it out in the open. They don't care. They don't care if you know that they, that, they don't care if you know that they don't like you or that you piss them off or that you're not giving them what they want and they're out of control and they're acting like a spoiled brat or they want to get exactly what they want when they want it, how they want it, you know? This person, like, you guys should, without in the open, you guys should be able to put two and two together 
and hopefully make four, you know, when this situation, this is a current, current love interest. Okay. Well, this person could be currently in love with you. Well, that's obvious from what we got here. Um, or it could be someone you're just getting out of, uh, um, or your last, um, love partner is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. A past love, see, it could be in a past love for you guys, or one that just you just broke up with, or somebody who's in your your, your energy field right now. This is a false divine masculine, divine feminine. So this is a false like false soulmate, you know. This person is scorned. This person is pissed off. I don't know if you guys left somebody, you rejected them, or they feel that you've done that. Because sometimes people could play things out in their mind. Who knows? But yeah, this is somebody who's pissed off, you know. This is a switch out, you know. It's like they were with you at first, but when they couldn't get what they want, they switched out on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, well, I'm hearing if I can't have you, nobody can. That's what I'm hearing on this one. Ooh, let me get you let me get you guys an advice here. From the spirit team, what is the spirit team saying on this? Definitely, you guys need to take your power back. Find any way that you can take your power back from this person, okay? It says, don't settle for less, okay? If this person is still in your uh, your environment, don't settle for less because, uh, yeah, you could do better than this, okay? That's what I'm hearing. You could do better. Don't settle for less. It says, put the trash out by the curb for pickup, right? You might need to let this go, all right? If it's, if it's still in your, uh, this person is still around you, you might need to let them go. If this person is still in your energetic field, you might need to find a way to do some core cutting rituals and let it go. Do some spiritual cleansing. Let it go. You know, creative ideas bring success. OK, I feel that if you guys focus on your creativity, you'll be able to get the answer that you need in this situation. OK, um, but also for you guys, an additional message, creative, some creative idea you have might bring you some success also. OK, but yeah, that's what I got for you guys on who is. Um, doing has an evil eye or black magic for you guys okay i hope you guys stay safe and you look into cutting uh cords if you need to cut cords and look into ways that you can take your power back okay the information is out there you just have to look for it all right uh, we're gonna go ahead go ahead on and go to group number two okay ciao if you've selected group number two this is going to be a read i'm going to clear the energy out Okay, we're going to be seeing if someone has an uh, evil eye or any black magic or anything uh, sending that towards you. And if so, who it is, okay? Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to every single person that watches it. If it doesn't, pick another group, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get on into it and see what we got here. Somebody have evil eye or something on group number two, please? This is something, this must be something that's really, really like the person is working to hide this from you. Let's see what we got here. Oh, damn. This is not nice. Uh, health attacks. Okay, whoever this person is, they're sending you, uh, they're trying to, they're trying to negatively affect your health, either physical or mental, your physical or men mental health, right? We got another weirdo on the scene. You know, this person is trying to trying to have you discombobulated, you know, either physically or mentally, okay? That's not nice. That is not cool. Oh, damn. I love this. Okay. It says someone is trying to manifest you in their life. This person is weird. Why would you why would you wish something bad on somebody on their health? 
physically or mentally, but you want them, you want them to be with you. You want them in your life in some sort of way, you know, whether it's uh, platonic or romantic. You want them in your life, but then you want something bad to happen to them mentally or physically. Like that is ridiculous. And I feel that this is a person like this could have been someone that you cut off or someone that does not have no longer have access to you. Or they just don't have access to you, period. You know? Or they never never may have had access to you. Oh my god. Okay. Um sorry guys. Uh, some protection. It's just that like when I when I hear stuff like this, this is like ridiculous. People are so weird, man. Uh let the rays of the sun clear away any negative energy you may be feeling at this time. So you guys, if you can, go go stand out in the sun and let the sun rays hit your body, let the sun rays hit your face. Soak in the sun for a minute or two, you know what I'm saying? And that sun is going to give you protection, okay? Like no other. Why am I, why am I, why am I saying that like no other? <laughs> like no other. But yeah, it's like that sun is going to be very, very restorative for you during this time. That sun is going to be very, very protective for you. It's going to ignite, you know, something with you. I'm not going to go into details on that, but... Uh, the sun is going to be the sun is your friend right now. So benefit off the rays of the sun. The sun is very healing. You know, the sun is going to be the sun is your friend right now. OK, so sun rays, sun rays, sun, sun, sun protection. OK, for you guys. And then you should be you should be uh, you should be cool. All right. So let's see who this freak is. It is. Let's see. Who is this? Cabron, who is this person? Who is this weirdo? I just can't understand that. Like, if somebody doesn't want you or somebody's not meant for you, just go on about your business. You don't have to do crazy stuff. People are so weird. Why? 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 Let's see what we got here for you guys. Proposition. That may, This may be somebody who propositions you or who will proposition you, you know? Y'all know a proposition. It can be a number of things. They come to you with some sort of offer, Okay. What, what the offer is, we don't know right now, but this person may have come to you with an offer or they will come to you with an offer, okay? Oh, this is somebody who's a swinger. And I know somebody had commented on my video one time before when I had said, when I had said, um, uh, when it was about person hiding something, they were hiding the fact that they were a swinger and I spoke about it negatively. They're like, oh, what's wrong with being a swinger? You know what? Everybody, don't expect... You can be a freak if you want to, but don't expect everybody to like that. You know, just like, you know, I have foods that I like. You might not like it. Like, get over it, you know? But anyways, this person is a swinger. This is someone who, you know, who likes to get around sexually. They like to have group sex. They they maybe like to swing, you know, have the, them partner with somebody else, and then they go tag team. So <laughs> they go, <laughs> let me move. Same age group. So this person is around your age, okay? Around your age group. Gang stalking. This person may be gang stalking you somehow online. Okay. Or even for some of you guys, it could even be out in, in, in public, in person, you know, wherever that, however that resonates with you. Wow. This person, this person, I'm getting play. This person is a game player. This person is very, very immature. Okay. They're very, very immature. And um, I'm just seeing a kid throwing a temper tantrum, you know, past life. You, you may have a past life connection with this person. A child, either you have a child with this person or this person has a, their own child, okay? A friend of me. This is someone who's a, who's a friend, but at the same time, they're your enemy, you know? This is someone who, who walks the middle the middle path, you know? Sometimes they're with you, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they smile on your face, sometimes they stab you in your back, you know? Somebody, friend of me, you, can't, you can never trust a friend of me, you know? Never, never. A duo. This person might be partnering with somebody else, or they may be in a connection with somebody else. Okay, they may have another person who they're dating right now, or with in some kind of capacity. That's that might be the person who they swing with. You know, transportation. You might know this person through their vehicle, their car. You might know um, uh, that they drive, or maybe they they live at a distance from you as well. They could live in your same city, town, or whatever, but you guys don't, may not live close to each other, you know? Admiration. This is someone who comes to you with a lot of admiration. They're showing you that, oh, I admire you. I like how you look. Or, you know, they just, they just give you that attention that lets you know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Stubborn. This is someone who's stubborn. They have stubborn ways. They don't change. They're not up for 
uh, growing and expansion. They they are they are fine and content with the way they are. So if you guys are dealing with somebody like this, know that this person is stubborn. If they are with somebody else and they're telling you that they're not gonna stay with that person or they're gonna leave them or they're not gonna do X Y Z anymore, blase blase da da da. da this person is stubborn. They ain't changing for you or nobody else. It's, they do what they want to do. This person may be an Aquarius sign or they may have Aquarius somewhere in their chart or that could be you. Okay. Or they could have, uh, what do you call it? Traits of an Aquarius, you know, a younger person. This person may be younger than you. Okay. Or you may be younger than that person. Okay. Promiscuous. Okay. There we go with the swinger. There we go with the swinger. Don't be commenting on my page talking about, is something wrong with swinging? Get the, let me stop. Uh, promiscuous, this person, they, they like to get around. They like to slang and dang. They like to bang and, let me stop. Sabotage. This is someone that if you guys had a connection with each other, this person would sabotage the connection. You know, maybe you were trying to build something with this person. This person was leading you on, giving you egg, egg crumbs. What the fuck? Um, having you walking on eggshells, giving you breadcrumbs. And leading you on, you know, but this person is sabotages the connection. That's because they got something going on somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> That's just plain and simple. You know, let's see what advice we got for you guys here. What other advice the spirit team want to tell you right now? Well, we know you guys are telling you guys to stand in. Then let this, let the rays of the sun clear away any negative energy you may be feeling at this time. Okay. Let that sun touch your face, your arms. Let that sun radiate all over your body. All over your body, Adi. Let's see. Come on, let's get a message here for these guys. Let's get a massage for these guys. Yeah. Stop. Okay. Move away from what causes dying and confusion. This person may have been confusing you. This person, their actions are all over the place. This person comes off like a friend and then they do something that's like an enemy, you know? If you ever come across anybody like this, I don't care if it's, if it's not this person, if it's somebody else. If anybody brings chaos and confusion and doubt in your mind, you don't know how they're moving. You don't know if they're really your friend. You don't know if they're your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, da 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 <laughs> Move away from it is not healthy for you to be living in confusion, you know. Um, we got to put the trash out by the curb. Put the trash out by the curb for trash day, you know. This person is coming off as trash, you know. It's starting to smell. Flies are starting to accumulate, you know. Fruit flies are, are stinking. Are... Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> throw it out. Throw it out. Show it to way. Show it to way. Creative ideas bring success, okay? You guys need to focus on your creativity. You need to focus on your personal endeavors. Focus on yourself, okay? This person ain't it. They probably ain't never going to be it. Focus on yourself because I feel that you guys are sitting on some sort of, uh, what do you call it? What do they call it? You're sitting on um, a diamond? Sitting on, well, whatever. You guys are sitting on some sort of idea or something that can really take you guys far or that you can monetize or that you, something beneficial can come from it. Let's not worry about this weirdo and let's focus on ourselves and focus on what we can manifest, you know, in our lives that is healthy for us, that serves the highest good, okay? So that's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, if it resonated, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more and uh, much love and peace to you guys. Ciao. All right, if you guys have selected the green candle, numero tres, this is going to be your reading. Let's go to clear the energy out from the last reading. All right, we're going to be seeing if anybody has any evil eye, marabou, obia, salveria, brujeria, carniceria. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> we're going to be seeing if anybody has anything. This is a general reading, so it's not going to apply to every single person that watches this okay you can choose one of the other groups there's three groups to choose from if this one the one doesn't work select one of the other two you just never know you never know okay let's see let's see what we got for this group what we got for group number three please we ain't too many cards. That's what we got for number three. Too many cards. 
That's what we got for number three. Too many cards. What we got for number three, please? Let's take one on the bottom. On the bottom. On the bottom. All right. All in your mind. Oh, damn. Okay, let me see what else we got. Death magic. Light magic. Evil eye. Mm. So this this is what I got, you guys. Okay. Mm. Somebody had somebody put uh, evil eye on you, right? So this was this was from somebody who envied you, you know, to the point of them not wanting to see you succeed. Okay, they actually put the actual evil eye on you. You know what I'm saying? This is someone who. Oh, okay. Uh, and somebody also did theft magic on you. This is someone was who is out to take something that is yours. This could be love, money, energy, etc. You know, um, they were they were trying to take something from you. But look at this. It says light magic. Someone is using spell work with good intentions to help you. So someone you might not know this, or maybe you did go to somebody. Okay, either you went to somebody, you went to a healer, shaman, whatever, and you had them do something to break this uh, this evil eye. You know, or this magic they put on you. You know, or you, or someone did it without your knowledge okay but this is someone with good intentions who's protecting you from behind the scenes this could be someone i'm hearing this could be somebody okay who did this particular thing um in the physical realm or it could be someone in the astral realms but somebody is doing something to help you and i feel that that worked okay so now i feel that that is over with okay so you may be feeling the residual effects or you may still just have not snapped out of it, you know, snapped out of that energy that you were feeling when they put the evil eye on you or when they did uh, whatever magic spell that they did to steal something or take something from you, okay? But it's all all in your mind, okay? I feel like this person was trying to bring confusion to your life, okay? that I, I think that theft magic, they were trying to, to steal away your clarity, okay? Your common sense. They were trying to take away your clear vision, you know? They're trying to make you confused so that you wouldn't know what to do, where to go, blase, blase, okay? But I hear like right now, okay, it is all in your mind right now. It says you are clear of psychic attacks and the evil eye during this time. Continue cleansing your energy. You guys may have also done some cleansing on yourself, okay? I feel like this group is a proactive group. Like this is the group that like, yo, we're spiritual warriors to the T. We're not going to let you come in and wreck shop on our lives. I'm going to do X, Y, Z, whatever I need to do to clear this energy out. I'm going to do spiritual cleansing. I'm going to do uh, smudging, like my Palo Santo, do my cork cutting, do whatever I got to do. Spiritual baths, dip into the ocean, go to somebody who can help me. You guys are, may have done that, okay? Or somebody just may who knew about your situation may have done it for you, all right? So you're pretty much in the clear, but it's just telling you to just... Continue cleansing your energy, okay? Just continue whatever it is that you're doing. Continue doing that, okay? You guys are, you guys are um already, y'all on point. Y'all already three steps ahead of who this person is. Let's see who this mofo is right here. Let's see what we get. Let's use this private eye deck here. And both of these decks, you guys, if you guys are interested in the private eye deck that I'm using right now or the evil eye deck. You can purchase those online. It's um, worldwide shipping. It's international shipping. Um, the link is in the description box. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a jumper. A real jumper. A real jumper. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? All right, let's see. Let me get a couple more. Give me a couple more. All right, let's see what we got. Damn, I said a couple. Not 80. Let's see. Hater, this is somebody who was a hater. Uh, duh, we know the ass was a hater. A whole hater and a half, okay. This is someone who wasted your time. They just came into your life or approached you or was around you to just waste your time. This is someone who, you, when you got done talking to them or when your connection was over or done, whatever happened to it, you just felt like, damn, that was a good waste of time. Like, why did I even bother, you know? This is someone who could be somebody's mother, okay? 
Uh, this person could be close to their mother. All right. Enemy. We know that. Don't like you. Don't like you like that. Hex. Yeah, this person tried to put cast a spell on you. This person. Well, we see that already. Future job. This person is going to want to work. This person is going to want to work with you again in the future. Okay. They're going to work with you on some capacity. Uh, some capacity again. Okay. This is someone who is very, very nosy. All in your business. They want to know everything. They may have Taurus in their chart, okay? Or you could have Taurus in your chart, but they may have Taurus in their chart somewhere, okay? Or they may they may uh, embody the characteristics of a Taurus, you know? Heartbroken. This is someone who's heartbroken, okay? Um, yeah, this, this, that could be the reason why, you know, they act in the way that they're acting or they, they did what they did. Toxic. This is someone who's very, very toxic. They're unhealthy, unstable. They bring nothing but chaos and confusion. They bring no nothing but negative energy, negative vibes. You know, this person needs to get help. They need to go sit on somebody's couch. They need to go do something. They need to go get a massage, past life regression to see where they went wrong, what they need to do. Do something. Eat a cake. Do something. Polygamist. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Polygamist. Okay. Y'all do with that what y'all want to do with it. Ashamed. This person is ashamed of how they treated you. Okay. Yeah, this person trying to keep more than one person. They're trying to keep more than one wife, more than one husband, more than one uh LT long term relationship. Soul tie. You got a soul tie to this person, okay? You guys may have been intimate together if you have, or you guys may have just bonded emotionally or spiritually or physically, whatever it is. There's a soul tie to you guys, okay? You may want to try to do some cord cutting rituals as well, okay, for this person. Let's go get, let's get another advice for you. Don't get used to hearing excuses. This might be someone who always gave you excuses. You know, if you're not with this person going forward with the next person, don't get used to hearing excuses from people. We ain't trying to hear that. We ain't trying to hear that. You know, ain't no, oh, my tire got flat. Oh, my, I stubbed my toe. Oh, my, well, nobody care about none of that. You know, none of that. We don't care about none of that. Don't get used to hearing excuses from people. People need to own up and be accountable for the things that they do to other people, okay? And on the bottom, I'm gonna go with that one too. And the bottom says, you don't have to change for anyone, okay? You're perfect and you're fine the way that you are, you know? Though somebody who is meant for you or people who are meant to be in your life or in your circle, whatever it is, they're gonna appreciate you for who you are, how you are, you know? You're not gonna, you're not gonna have to change for anybody okay so that's what i got for you guys in this group if you like it if it resonated in any kind of way like the video subscribe to the channel subscribe to the team man and much love and light to you guys take care ciao